You know, I read a bunch of romance mangas. I read this, I read that, but when it comes to an age gap, it's usually between a high school girl and Mr. Transfer Teacher. And if it's the other way around, that's usually an edgy one. It's like, I don't have a choice whether to read one or the other. Well now, you don't have to! Are you still waiting for the next chapter of your favorite manga, right? Well actually, I just finished reading... Waiting on My Hero Academia? Attack on Titan? How to Treat a Lady Knight, right? Okay, that can't be real! Well it is! I'm Rodrigo Sanchez, and this is Random Recommendation. So is it plural or singular? Well, what do you got then? I'm not the one who wrote this! Yeah, that's what I thought. This is Kyoko Katokura, 4th grade teacher. She just fulfilled her dream of becoming a school teacher. Aww. It's her first day and she's already nervous. She can hear her heart pounding loudly as she tries to start attendance. Or rather, she can hear one of her students' heart. Kazuki Yamato, the student who fell in love with her at first sight. Before Kyoko could start a lesson, the boy asks a personal question, and immediately volunteers to be her man. Later that night, he wonders what kind of men she's into, and the next morning, he gets ready for school with an obvious attempt to entice his teacher. Yo, this kid really has a suit? You have any idea how much a suit costs? That family be loaded, man. Not now, Bobby! Anyway, he doesn't go to school like that and again volunteers but this time to solve the equation. It appears math is Yamato's weakest subject. Hey, me too. Kyoko calms him down from being embarrassed in front of the class. He admits that he raised his hand just so he can be close to her. One day, Yamato declares when he becomes a man, he'll marry Kyoko. She agrees. FBI, open up! <laughs> because no one would remember the fourth grade teacher after going through high school and college. But that's exactly what Yamato did. Ten years later, he shows up with an engagement ring. She didn't accept the marriage proposal, yes! but she did agree to be his girlfriend. Sometime later, she tells her friends that she's dating a younger man, just not more than 12 years. Kyoko was feeling the pressure from society everyone getting married and having families by the time they're 30. She started to doubt herself. But now, that's no longer the case. Although she feels like she's doing something immoral. Bruh. Yamato is still too love struck to notice she's feeling weird about it. When he proposed to her, he tried to convince her that he's okay with this situation and she decides to go with it just to keep a promise. Although, there is some speculation that she might feel sorry for him for going through all of his life single just so he can keep his promise. Strangely enough, he didn't let her answer. If it is true, then he's lucky to have a lady who would keep their promise for so many years. We see the couple on their first date at a fast food restaurant. He's still in college so we'll give that a pass. She notices Yamato still doesn't eat carrots. She begins to lecture him, and he has a solution. Feed him like she did 10 years ago. And she does. It's not the same 10 years ago. Why are they talking about carrots? That's weird. Well, it's supposed to be mushy, you know? That's not mushy. Well, according to the author it is. They walk around, and Yamato still calls her sensei. To which she responds by wanting him to call her something else. He takes a second to prep, and then calls her by her first name, causing her to blush instantly. He now wants her to call him by his first name. Daddy. She can't do that. Not because he'll blush, but because she then goes into teacher mode. Even though he's not in her class anymore. It's a habit for her. They take a break in the park. 
and Kyoko ask him about his future after college. Safe to say the first thing on his list is to marry her. He plans on becoming a teacher as he's taking classes for it. His true goal is to teach in the same school with her. But reality shuts that down. I guess they had this conversation before. So his other goal is to become an astronaut. With barely any enthusiasm unlike the former. Turns out, he said the same thing 10 years ago. Only to take her to Mars during her honeymoon. At least the boys cheered him on though. Since he says it again 10 years later. The date is over. And just before he walks off, something happens. She gives him instructions like a teacher would. The nature of their relationship hasn't changed after all this time. The next morning, we see Kyoko is more chipper than usual. Students from her class notices her recent looks have improved. A fellow student then assumes it was because of his love for her. He's not the only one who has a crush on her. She starts to wonder why is she so popular with children? And that's the end of chapter 1. Now, it's all up to you. You might need to drink more water to flush out all this sweet sugary story out of your system. There's barely any drama, besides Kyoko thinking she's too old for Yamato which she always keeps her dating life a secret because of it. Outsiders who do know it tend to make opportunities to test their love, like making them hold hands in public. The slight downside is they're both dense, but what makes up for it is they're both pure in heart, so it cancels out. Yamato is not one to suppress his feelings. There isn't one chapter when he doesn't proclaim his love. Kyoko easily switches to teacher mode, or mom mode, but that's the dense part of her. There is a sequel that continues with the main storyline. The story goes a year later and they work in the same school. It's just like the main manga, but now there is a girl who likes Yamato. Oh yeah, and an actual ending. I'm not spoiling a pure vanilla like this. And with that, I'm your narrator, Rodrigo Sanchez. Please support the official release and don't forget to subscribe.